today we're going to be taking a closer look at the liquid lipstick set that Jeffree Star just came out with. This is the Blue Blood set and this is what it looks like. This thing is so big. So we have eight lipsticks I think and I'm going to do some lip swatches. I'm also going to do some arm swatches and I'll probably keep this video pretty short because I mean who wants to watch like dragged out swatches of someone putting lipsticks on their lips, you know? So we're gonna keep this pretty short but if you're wondering, I am of course wearing the blood sugar, blood sugar, blue blood palette on my eyes today. This is the first look that I filmed out of the 10 that I'm going to film. So if you are new here, sometimes I like to torture myself by making 10 looks with certain palettes and this palette is going to be one of them. And I will probably have that video up within a week or so. I always try to get these videos up as soon as humanly possible because I know you guys are waiting for them. So without going on and blabbering for too much, we're gonna just get into these lipsticks now. And this is going to be my first like lip swatching videos with a set of lipsticks. So I'm not really sure how to go about this. So I guess maybe we should start by swatching them on my arm first and then I can put them on my lips after or something like that. So let's start off with the first one, which is called Drug Lord and this is a white. And this was the main reason why I wanted to get this bundle because I have been looking for a white liquid liner for forever. So I absolutely love using his lipsticks on my eyes because they are the only formula that I know that is eye safe and they literally last all day on me and they're perfect. So I'm going to swatch this first, I guess, on my arm and I'm really not expecting anything but to see a white lipstick. So this is what this looks like. It looks to be nice and opaque. And I should probably take the lipstick off that I have on my mouth, huh? So let me do that real quick and then we can put this on. So obviously this looks a bit crazy because it's a white lipstick. So I don't know if anybody would actually, you know, wear white lipstick, but I feel like this could easily be used to lighten up the middle of different lipsticks if you just like tap it on with your finger or something like that. Or like I said, as eyeliner, which is what I'm going to be using it as. So let's move on to the next one. Next up we have Ice Tray. So I'm going to first swatch this and this looks to be more of a cool tone of blue with a bit of a lilac in it. And like, I am so bad at explaining colors. So I'm probably just going to call most of these blue, but this is what this one looks like. This is beautiful. This would really make for a good eyeliner. And I think all of these would. So this is what Ice Tray looks like on, and I actually really like this. I'm not usually a fan of like blue lipsticks and stuff like that. It's just not something that I'm very comfortable wearing out, but I mean, I think this looks kind of nice. And this one wasn't patchy at all, whereas the first white one was a little bit iffy, but I mean, it's a white lipstick and it's probably really hard to make a white good liquid lipstick formula. So this one is beautiful though. I actually really like this. Next up we have Jawbreaker and this is very much a baby blue it looks like. Wow, look at that. That is such a unique lipstick shade. I feel like this is going to go really well with the look that I have on today. <laughs> this is like such a fun look. I like seeing myself like this because I never wear lipsticks that are this bright and this like colorful, I guess, even though I am such a sucker for color, but lipsticks, not as much as eyeshadow. So this is really cool though. And this one went out super nicely and opaque and non-streaky as well. So thumbs up for this one. Next up we have Blue Velvet, which I actually own this one already. So I'm going to go get the one that I already owned so I don't have to open this. And so this is the old one that I have in my collection. I love using this as an eyeliner. I think this is so cute. So very much a dark navy blue, I guess you could call this. Here is what blue velvet looks like on. This is probably the one out of the bunch that I would feel most comfortable wearing out, I think. I don't know, we're gonna have to try on the other ones because obviously I haven't tried any of these other ones on, but I like this one as a lipstick. Again, not really something that I would wear out, but I love these lipsticks for using on my eyes so much. And this mainly why I buy his uh, mini sets. I have the rainbow one as well, and I love it for that reason. Next up we have Abused, which looks to be more of a dark purple. So that makes me really excited because I don't have any dark purple lipsticks. Yeah, that's definitely very, very dark. That is so cool. So this is a very vampy color and I think that 
looks pretty good. Formula seems to be a little bit drier than some of the other ones, but I mean, it still went on very smoothly and it's still very opaque and I don't see any patchiness. So yeah, I mean, so far all of these lipsticks have been great. Not that I would expect anything else from Jeffree Star because his liquid lipstick formula is my favorite and I say that in so many videos. So next up we have one that's called Diamond, which looks to be more of a lavender shade. Ooh, that is really pretty. So formula-wise on this, I feel like this is one of the better ones, but I just don't like these kind of lipsticks on myself. I know I keep repeating myself and I'm saying I'm going to use these on my eyes, so I will shut up now, but these kind of lipsticks for me are just a little bit too light. If I'm going to wear like a very different color lipstick, I prefer to be on the darker side. But again, this is such a unique color and I think this is really, really cool. So we are down to the last two, and this one is called Titanic, which is a metallic blue, which is actually what I'm wearing as my eyeliner in this look. Here's what that one looks like. You can't really see it being too, too metallic, so I'm interested to see what this looks like on the lips. I love how my application just keeps getting worse and worse and you would think the more I put on a lipstick the better I would get but clearly it's the opposite today. So I feel like it comes across a lot more metallic when you put it on the lips than when I just swatch it on my arm here. Maybe it's because it's over such a small area but on my lips I feel like this lipstick really pops and this is super fun. Like I could definitely see myself actually wearing this as a lipstick. I think this is beautiful. And we are down to the last one, which is called Medusa, and this looks to be just a kind of blue-gray, maybe more on the gray side. Let's see what this one looks like. Yeah, I'm not really seeing any blue in this. It definitely just looks like a gray, and I like gray lipsticks a lot, so... And this is going to be Medusa, and I think this is actually going to be my favorite as in like a wearable lipstick. I understand that all of these lipsticks are wearable for some people, but for me this is kind of definitely the kind of lipstick that I would be okay with wearing out, and I think this looks really good with this look too. So let me know if you ended up picking up these lipsticks and what you are going to do with them, and let me know which one was your favorite. Like I said, I think this one is going to be my favorite, but I am so excited to have them all in my collection because I already know I'm going to get a lot of use out of them because I love using these on my eyes. I love using these on my eyes. I love using these on my eyes. I probably said it like 20 times now. I'm so sorry. But I don't really know what else to say about these lipsticks other than I really like them. I'm happy I have them in my collection. I hope you enjoyed seeing them on the lips and on an actual face and not just, you know, as hand swatches. But again, if you want to see some close-ups of these, I will leave these in the end of the video and then I will put the names on top of them as well so you can see them a little bit closer. So yeah, that's going to sum up the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.